Hi, beautiful souls. We are here today to talk about sexual power, porn industry, and reclaiming your power. So I know it's sensitive topics. It's not for everyone. So this is not for you. It's not for you. So if you stay, hey, really glad. My name is Minh Huyen, and I'm here as a channeler, um, a survivor, and a mentor. This is a space for healing, for self-discovery, and for transformation. You can expect channel messages, heartfelt conversation, and mindful movement, and my journeys of healing and transformation, where I'm going to share with you all the tools how you can reconnect with your body, align with your souls, and thrive beyond your pain. Okay, thank you. Enough for spills. Let's go back. Today, let's talk about porn. Let's talk about sexual power, actually. So sexual power, creative power, it is a part of life. It's, it's a part of life. It, I think, no surprise, I think we all watch porn. We all want to discover that part of ourselves, that primal part of ourselves, where we want to experience the pleasure, different experience different parts of life. I wanted to recommend the book, hashtag I want orgasms, not roses. Just unashamedly acknowledge that part of ourselves that we want pleasure. In fact, that I think it's just the fact that you want to prioritize yourself as probably the first person because you care about yourself and you care about the way you feel in sex. That's a good sign already. And I'm not here to encourage you to watch porn if you're not into watching porn. But I think if you are still watching at this point, Probably at some point in your life, you watch porn, especially for my women's out here, especially for my women. So, digging up on Pornhub, thirty-five percent of women also watch porn. Also, also their audience watch porn, right? So the rest is male. Not surprise. But you know what I think in porn, and I think this is nothing new actually. But let's, it's, it's time to make a scene. It's time to cause some story. The woman's in porn. It's so boring. It's so submissive. Yes, they are enjoying the sex. But it's the performance for male is a performance for females. Because it's too side in sex. And actually, relationship up. Oh. Watch your hair three steps. So if you argue there's three or more, it's up to you. But whatever it is, any parties are equal. And the pleasure are mutual. If you are into a healthy relationship, not the PDD case, um, that will be actually for the second episode. But going back, sorry, I digress. The porn. The image of the woman and how they are portrayed in porn is extremely submissive, boring. I find it's actually there's no other words than boring. Like that, that we live in 3D, 5D world, yet that image is so 1D or 2D. There's no personality. There's no spontaneous. Like, can you actually recall one of the sex that is so perfect like that? In fact, I think that's what makes us human is make us so imperfect. And the sex I recall is actually not so perfect. Basically, I'm just here to say that the porn, in a way, is unrealistic. The woman in the porn industry is one-sided, is submissive. Um... It's just, just not real. And I'll even argue that the men in the porn scenes are not also real. That's created an illusion, an image, a role that we're supposed to play that is not 
even true to who you are. It's not even real. There's nobody like that in, in, in a society. And you may argue this is a movie. There's supposed to be a role model, like some, some, some sort of like a role model. And I get it, but I don't think, I don't think sex needs a role model. And I don't think even think we need. A, a rigid role model anymore. Basically, I'm just here to say that it's so outdated. We need better sex education than this, and I argue this: the societies that we are currently living in, the way porn dictated a uh, toxic masculinity in this society, is definitely play, play a role because it's such a primal part of ourselves. Teenagers, when you know you are teens, you want to discover that part of yourself because sexual power is creative power, that sacral energy of yours, that part of you you want to go out, you want to experience different things, you want to create. You don't, you you're not here afraid. You want to try so many things, so many things new, and I think what's the better way to experience it than to actually go and do it and. Not out here and watch unrealistic porn. Well, hey, maybe. But going back, going back to your sexual energy, reclaiming your sexual energy, prioritize your need, your pleasure. I had a conversation with a friend, and she said she's from Colombia actually, and I am actually from Vietnam. But I can also relate it to this message that sometimes a woman. Most of the times, a woman is taught to satisfy her man or satisfy her partner to keep him or keep her, keep them in the relationship. Basically, you use sex is a way to keep the person in a relationship. That's it. So yesterday, right? The mutual relationship, the consent in a relationship. If you are into a healthy relationship, this is a key. And if you are into a healthy relationship, you also would know that no relationship is actually perfect. So scary, I know. Nothing is perfect. Oh, recovering perfectionist. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel you. To、um, set an example for that, I'll read this quote of mine that I really, really like. Just about sex. Here we go. When sex become a production or performance, that is when it loses its value. Be mutual. Be loud. Be clumsy. Make noise. Be quiet. Make a mess. Bite. Scratch. Push. Pull. Hold. Thrust. Remove the pressure from the moments. Love the moment. Embrace it. Enjoy the body. Enjoy the partner's body. Produce sweat, be natural, and tie your senses. Give in to pleasures. Forget worrying about extra skin, size of pants, parts, things that are meaningless. Set the expectation. Take each second as it comes. Smear your makeups, mess up your hairs, rid of your masculinity, lose your ego. Get to day together, collapse together, and melt into each other's. I think it's so important that we can be ourselves in sex, especially that is when it's. If you're not truly be yourself, then who are you enjoying? Like, are you not enjoying yourself in sex? How can your partner enjoy you, or how can you enjoy your partner also? So I think it's so important to be ourselves, to to to. To lose your ego, like I said, and to reclaiming that power of yours, like I have the right to experience pleasure. Me as a woman, me as a person, have all that right to experience pleasure, and that's why I am here to call for a revolutionary new kind of ethical feminist porn. Where the porn is actually mutual, or I know it's a scene, like, like I know it's an act, it's a performance, but it's so important that it's here, 
to promote bravery, courage, authenticity, vulnerable, vulnerability in all aspects of life, especially that primal aspects. Because when you are in it, you don't truly think. And if you if you're still thinking, how should I perform in sex? Then you are not. You're not enjoying yourself. You need to lose yourself a little bit here. You need to have fun. You need to prioritize yourself. So in order, I think, in order for us to enjoy ourselves in sex. It's actually just to enjoy ourselves first and to just to acknowledge and prioritize your need as a person, as a woman, to never dismiss yourself, to never dismiss your need, to take up space. To all my people out here, I love you so much. I know, I was, I was a survivor. It's a, it's hardship. Sometimes. Feel like we're never gonna enjoy ourselves again, especially when, you know, the sexual assault survivors is hard. But hey, that's that's a story for another time. But I'm just here to cherish intimacy is a gift. It's for you to discover yourself. I want to encourage for us to connect with our body because the body it hold more wisdom than you actually think it is. After spending years in meditation, I realized that it's not just in the mind. The mind, yes, is a part of it, but the body is even more of it. And that's why I want to help people to help regulating their nervous system because I know you just cannot just ignoring it. In fact, I would argue that you have to regulate your nervous system first. So you have to work with your body. Know your body first, and then you work with your mind. You can truly be yourself and get to experience pleasure apart from yourself to experience that sexual energy of yours. Well, here to the concluding part one. Thank you so much. Go out and explore yourself, exploring that hidden part of yours. I don't know the the other. I I call it the other side of the moon. The you know the moon have the bright side and then the the darker side, the darker side where you have to go in and you put the blankets in, and you hide yourself while you're watching something. Man, watch which we have better porn to watch the more authentic, truly empowering, so you can go out and truly be yourself. Thank you, and I hope to see you again in the second episode. Again. Tune in for a second、um, for a Monday where we have the the theme of the week. Dive in the discomfort. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.